As a general contractor, one of the easiest ways to update the exterior of your home is with black paint. By simply painting these old vinyl windows or aluminum, I'll show you how you can transform your windows from this to this, and I'll even show you the tips that some people don't do to make your finish last for years. I'm using a two inch sash brush, slightly angled. If you want to use a two and a half, that's also good. And I'm just gonna start at the top, get a little bit of primer on there, and go. Now you're seeing my streaks a little bit, which is actually okay for the primer coat, because this is a smooth surface. And I'm gonna lightly sand it, and I'll use a smooth roller so that we don't see any streaks. But right now, I just want really, really good coverage. And if you just take the time to do these steps, just get in the groove there, a little extra paint, push it in. You'll get a really good look and it will weather really well. And another reason why I'm not using a paint and primer in one is I really don't know if this surface has been properly primed. So I usually like to prime separately, especially for something like this. And we'll just let that dry and then we're on to paint. I'm just going with a black flat latex paint. If you want something that's a little easier to clean, you can go with a semi-gloss. Time to paint. Let's do this starting at the top. Now sometimes if you're trying to get into these grooves here to get your paint in there, you're actually going to bleed over onto your window. You just don't want to have any globs. So you can do some light feathering like this and then that's going to just buy you a little time. If you ever get a little too much paint on your window, just feather it, same with your trim, and that way it will blend in when it's time to go over and paint. Now we're just gonna go over that, starting at the top corner, and we'll just start painting our vinyl window here, or if you have a PVC window. And we wanna get into the grooves here, into all your runners where your window is. And then you can always go over with some longer strokes after you get the paint in there. Just, it's a lot easier if you don't glob your paint on, that's for sure. And you give it a little wiggle, get into your corner, and nice smooth it down. And don't be too afraid. If, it, if it's not absolutely covering, it's better to have a little bit less and just go over with a second coat. You don't really want it exceptionally heavy. Better if you just do two nice coats instead of trying to do it all at once. And that tape is just really proving quite handy. I'm just gonna go over it like this. I'm getting really good coverage and I'm going to have a nice finished line when I'm done. And don't forget to look at the window on the side because you want to actually get into the groove here, your sliding track just on the side. It's a little tricky so you just want to look in the side and get a good little bit of paint in there. To make it smooth, you can just go over this. I'm actually doing a really good job of getting rid of all of these brush strokes. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, great. And this is only our first coat, so I'm happy with this. First coat done. While that first coat dries, I have a little tip here for you. Just put a little extra paint in your plastic bag or grocery bag, twist it up, and then your brush is good to go. It's all ready to go for your second coat of paint. With our first coat dry, I'm just gonna lightly sand the window and then get on to our second coat of paint, our final coat. If you don't sand, you're not gonna get a really good adhesion, and we want this primer and paint to last. And we're done. Now all I have to do is just remove the tape, starting from the top all the way down, and pull the tape gently. And I like to do this while the paint is still wet because then I get a nice crisp edge. If you leave the paint to dry, you're actually gonna chip the paint. So do it when it's wet. Really nice, look at how much better that is. And you know what, if I have a couple touch-ups to make, that's okay, I'm just gonna go over and do a little touch-up with a little tiny paintbrush but it's looking really good. It's coming out really nicely. There we go. Nice crisp edge, certainly a lot better than the previous job. Look at that. <laughs> this is how not to do it, and this is how to do it. And just remove it so that my seal is nice and clean. I don't want to get any paint on that seal. Oh, it's looking way better, right? Eh? It's awesome.